Oh, you know Mr. Wonderful how to grab himself a water. Because when it comes to these profiles, it takes a toe on the voice. But, of course, <laughs> we are in the final profile of this amazing segment. And I've hit you with so many great Air Jordan 4s. But, of course, that beautiful light, oh, it's shining bright on greatness. It's shining bright on Mr. Wonderful. But you know what? I know. I'll go ahead and share a little bit of that light and let that light shine on you beautiful people out there. The fellas. And those beautiful ladies oh, 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 that I call my cheerleaders. And actually, I'm about to go meet up with one of the ladies a little bit later. So I'm going to wrap this up, relax, and then get ready to head out to dinner. But of course, you see, looking casual, looking amazing. Got the tag Aqua Racer on the wrist. This is that beautiful chronograph, that blue dial. I absolutely love my favorite watch of all time. I am wearing this nice light brown Kef tee because we are in that month of November. So I said, what's a better time than bring this out? The weather is cooling down. I am wearing some nice light blue seven jeans. Like I said before, well, if you're just barely catching this, well, I purchased this. I was kind of hesitant because it has a hole right here. I asked some of the beautiful cheerleaders. I asked them, hey, what do you think about these? And they're like, you could barely even notice it. Like, just buy them. They look, they're they're going to look nice on you because I'm not big on holes in my denim. That's not how I roll. That's not how Mr. Wonderful dresses. I don't have whole holy denim. I wear normally just nice denim, but this one does have a hole. But I decided to pick it up. And you know what? Absolutely amazing. Hey, mom, what do you think? So I'm all put together like normal when it comes to any profiles that I'm doing. We are on sneaker profiles 255. Can you believe that? 255 profiles. And I know, counting down the pages and pages of all those profiles that I have delivered, and I've hit you with fucking amazing shoes each and every single time, right? Anything that you could probably desire, New Balance, Asics, Nikes, Jordans, Nike SBs, regular dunks, runners, casual shoes, Brooks, I mean, Deodora, I mean, what haven't I hit you with? But you know what? When it comes to the finale, I always save the best for last. And this one right here, you see the thumbnail, so I'm sure you kind of have an idea of what I'm about to bring you. This one right here. A fucking amazing shoe. A great shoe for an amazing guy. Unfortunately, I did not hit on this one for retail. I had to actually go to the resale market on this one. And I have the uh, the StockX receipt in there in the box. I'll go in and figure out what date that I actually picked this one up. But this was at a time where I was like, you know what? I was starting to really pick up momentum as far as what I'm picking up. But more of us at this time was picking up more high-end ticket shoes. During this time, I actually picked up the Nike Yeezy 2, the platinum one. Picked it up for like three grand. And later on down the road, I sold that one for six. So I made a good profit on this one, on that one. Wait, I mean, I believe on my IG, I have a picture of that in my room. So you can, if you don't believe me, go ahead and take a look. I even actually have my... My laptop bag right there, just just so people will fucking know. This one was actually picked up around that time when I picked up that Yeezy 2. So, you know what? Since those doors are open for you beautiful people to go ahead and come on in, right? Those beautiful doors, the FC Sneaker Factory doors. Go ahead and come on in, you beautiful people. The fellas and those beautiful ladies that I call my cheerleaders. Because we are about to do... Sneaker profiles, 255 right here. Now let me go ahead and open up the books because you know what? I'm going to hit this one out of the fucking park as usual. So just so you know, right? you guys may have forgot, but YouTube is definitely my fucking pedestal because I, I stand on top of it. And this sneaker genre is definitely... Mr. Wonderful's Playground. You see behind me 20 fucking plus years in this fucking sneaker game. Have not skipped a beat. Sold off a lot of my shoes and gained a lot more. 
But let's go ahead and open up these beautiful book, this beautiful catalog that I continue to write in to sneaker profiles, 255, and there you go. Oh, amazing, amazing shoe. Can't wait to actually deliver it. It's been a while since I actually seen this shoe in hand. Been quite some time. But, so before I even forget, I hope you're having an amazing November. Because you know what, Thanksgiving is literally right around the corner. So I hopefully you're preparing for that. Hopefully you're having you're preparing a nice dinner for you and for your loved ones and your family members. I really hope that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Right? Sneaker profiles 255. We are looking at the Air Jordan 4. Cause collaboration. Let's take a look at the box. See the box, right? See all those little Mickey Mouse uh, hand mints right there. Got the double X's with the air. I'm gonna show you the entire box because this is a box you just really don't see very often. Let's take a look at underneath the box. You do gotta have more of those prints. Let's take a look at the, this is what I want you to focus on though, right there. Right there. Air Jordan 4 Retro Cause. Cool gray slash white. Retail price tag on that is $350. I wish I paid $350 for this one, but I didn't. Let's see what this shoe came with. All right, you do got the standard just black box, nothing crazy. Here's that. Remember when you would get these? Take a picture of your shoe, stock it, sticker. Okay, so I picked this up back on July 5th, 2018. So this was the time where I was really like on board as far as um, buying high-end shoes. And I picked this one up for a good amount of money. But this was at the time where you were getting, you were just purchasing the shoe at whatever price you paid, and then the thirteen dollars and ninety five cents shipping, and that was it. None of these all this other fucking bullshit fees and processing fee and all that other bullshit. Let's take a look at this though. Okay, so it does come with a little dust bag, right? A black dust bag. It has the double X's and the air on that. See that? It also has. Let's, Take a look at that. Some tips for the, I try to keep everything nice because that's just how I do it. So right here, you do got this. Basically it's just from the creative minds of Cause and Jordan Brand, art meets basketball. These two global icons have defined greatness in their respectable, respective fields and now have come together to deliver one of, one of a kind collaboration, Jordan Brand celebrates the iconic air jordan 4 with premium materials detailed craftsmanship and cause signature work so that's all what it says right there and then that's the front of it so came with that as well the tissue paper still looks beautiful i made sure i kept that really intact but gorgeous paper you do have the x's in the air right there so i'm going to go ahead and put this aside one one uh box and tissue paper i really like want mint all right so this shoe okay so this shoe was released back on march 31st 2017 so based on when i purchased it it was already a year after and yes well above the 350 mark when i purchased this but we are looking at sneaker profiles 255 the Air Jordan 4 cause collaboration. The cool gray right here. Let's look at this fucking gem right here. Okay. So I'm going to read you a little bit of story about this shoe. Story about cause and who he is and all that stuff. So Brian Donnelly, a.k.a. Cause, has a rich history as a collaborative partner with the most relative covenant brands. But has any of his past projects gained as much hype as this one right here ooh wee so this one right here is made up of that gray suede upper sublime detailing dope shoe box packaging to match okay now let me go into how i describe this shoe because my description is a lot better than what i just read okay now let's take a look at this shoe this beautiful right this this rough suede when it comes to this material right here in that nice cool gray on the toe box on this entire 
The outer side of the shoe, I mean gorgeous, but it runs throughout the entire shoe. This right here, this like a suede material right here for the for the shoelaces. Normally we would see like that gray or not gray, but that more rubber part right here, but this is all suede. All suede right here, all suede. This guard right here is suede. Normally we would see a rubber when it comes to material, but not, not on the cause. Right here, this is a nice rough suede when it comes to this window. Normally we would see we would have the guard right here, and then underneath that guard is that you know mesh or whatever type of material it is. But this is just straight hairy suede right here, but it's beautiful. All beautiful uh, suede right here but if you really look look at the details right here these are all those little hands those mitts right that goes throughout here right here is a nice gray midsole it's all in rubber so this is all rubber right here though this is normally what we would see is rubber as well but that has actually gray suede right here this right here is a glow in the bar dark bottom so this all glows in a dark outsole right here is a nice normally we would see rubber but this is a nice gray suede and then right here this is a gray air unit let's take a look at the rear part rear part we don't have the jump man we don't have the nike we do have the x's the eyes right and then the air right here and this is all gray suede normally we would see rubber right here when it comes to the guard but this is just all gray suede so and then gray suede right here. This right here, the midsole is gray suede. And this right here is a nice glow in the dark L. So, so in case you're wondering, Mr. Wonderful, we see that, you know, you're not really touching the bottom. Well, I'm not because actually I wore this shoe. Can you fucking believe that? Yes, Mr. Wonderful wore a high price shoe right here. I have wore this. I wore this, I want to say a couple times already. Um, definitely want to get it out more, but I haven't had a chance to, and there's really nowhere I really want to go to get this one out, or nowhere special enough, I should say, to go to get this one out. Now, let's take a look at the medial part, right? The medial part, pretty much identical to the lateral part, except when it comes to this stitching, these are this stitching is all completely different, right? This is all random compared to the, the lateral side. The lateral side is random as well. But you do have this beautiful gray suede material that goes throughout the entire medial part, right? Right here, normally we get this nice rubber guard, but this is all gray suede. Right here is a rough suede, just like the lateral part, but it is a kind of like a hairy suede. Normally right there, we would get like the guard and then underneath that guard, it would be a mesh material, but not on the cause. This is a different and then you got all this gray suede that goes throughout the medial side. These, like I said, normally we would get the, the rubber parts for the shoelaces, but this is all gray suede right here. No rubber going on. Right here, normally we get a nice rubber midsole, but nope, not on the cause. This is all that beautiful gray suede midsole. Right here, gray air unit. Right here, nice gray rubber. A part for the midsole going towards the toe box all glow in the dark material right here all glow in the dark material let's take a look at the front part of the shoe beautiful right beautiful um the shoelaces we'll get into all that right now but look at that see i have worn this shoe as you can see the dirt the dirt marks and all that right here you see the mittens going on when it comes to the outsole but this is all glow in the dark at, i unfortunately i have not wore this at night i wore this during the day so I haven't really seen this glow. I can't wait to do it though. I definitely need to get this out. But let's take a look at my favorite part, the aerial view, okay? The aerial view of the shoe, you see that? You got the cause mint right there. All these different little signs going on when it comes to the toe box. Or I, I should say um, the mittens really, these are all mittens. But the nice gray suede when it comes to the toe box right here, the tongue is that hairy suede tongue that goes throughout the entire tongue. The shoelaces, I'm not a fan of because it is that gray waxy shoelace, but you know, whatever, you know, it, it is what it is. I really can't see what else would they would put to make it 
more pop, but I mean, it's still it's still nice. I'm just not a big fan of waxy laces. And then right here, you do got the nice jump man right here, but then it is in that beautiful hairy suede type material tongue. Right here is the the tag, and it is in a smooth gray suede. Now let's take a look at the the um, insole. So the insole, I'm gonna pull this out so you guys can see this, and ladies, you can see it as well. Go and pull it out. So right there. So inside, you see that you have the nice, this is all leather. So this is a gray leather material when it comes to the sock liner. Gray leather right here. Let's see what this is. It does have cause right there on the, yep, it says cause right there behind the tongue. And this is all uh, leather material. Okay, so inside though, you do have, let's see if I can pull this stuff out. All right, so you do have this. It did come with this. I took it off when I wore it because I'm not going to keep that on. But inside you have the mittens. You have the Jumpman in white, the X in white, and then the Cause in white. But the insole is completely grayed out. Beautiful. Size 10 and a half, of course. What else does Mr. Wonderful give you? Size 10 and a half. Right here, though. Just not a... I would never keep this on. Just not a fan of it. I even forgot about it. I should leave it out so I won't be all twisted. But beautiful right there. Love it. I love this shoe. Gorgeous shoe. I mean, one of those shoes where it was just like, yeah. It was like a must-have for myself. Um, at this time, I was really paying a lot of high dollar value when it came to shoes and this is the one that i really spent a good amount of money for um but to to be honest with you when i look when i think about the shoes that i picked up you know recently this shoe wasn't that bad this is actually cheaper than one of those shoes that i showed you in one of those flight pickups and i'm sure you know what i'm talking about you know it's travis scott to be honest with you but this was actually cheaper than that so beautiful shoe though what do you think about this one? So there's two that were actually released. There is this one, and then there is a black one. This one, by hands down right here, this is my favorite. That's why it's in my collection. But what about you? Is this one your favorite out of that black one, or you you like that black one better? I love the gray. I think the gray just pops a lot more. I just love the how the hands and everything, you can see everything. Just beautiful shoe, though. Glad I have this one in my collection. And to be honest with you, I even forgot about it. Until I was getting ready to do this sneaker profile, I was like, man, I, I'm going to say that for last, but I even forgot all that I had that shoe in the collection. I cannot wait to one day wear those again, one of these days. And when I do, maybe I'll take a photo of them on or do a reel on Instagram to show you. But until then, I mean, they're going to remain in the box and just stay there until I'm ready to bring them back out. What a great finale. What a great finale for Mr. Wonderful to end on. Sneaker profile 255 with the Air Jordan 4 cause collaboration, right? Who would have thought Mr. Wonderful had that in his collection? But who wouldn't have thought? You know, if you know me, you know me. You know that I only bring the fucking best when it comes to my FC Sneaker Factory. And the book is shut on this one for Sneaker Profiles 255. I don't know what I'm planning on doing next next round as far as the segment goes but you know what we are moving towards the thanksgiving holiday we're steaming ahead so maybe i might do a sneaker profile remix but you'll just have to tap in to see what what i'm gonna release or what i'm gonna bring you but like always mr wonderful on camera always looking amazing never getting the amount of views never getting the amount of thumbs up never getting the amount of comments and all the other fucking bullshit that comes to youtube but fuck it I'm still going to do it my way, and my way, like all the women say, Floyd, you do it so damn well. I appreciate you. You will get a reel on this one so tomorrow, so make sure you tap into that. Until then, I'll see you in a couple of days. You'll see me in a brand new fit with a brand new segment, and of course, just to remind you, just like all the ladies remind me each and every fucking day, even my family members. They say, Floyd, Mr. Wonderful, you are too damn.